Hey everybody, it's me, Morgan Gecko again. But since you're the one playing this video, you already know that. But I have another mission chain to start. We're over here at City of Dreams Lagoon and we are going to go back to the BAMF headquarters. I usually just say BAMF. You can either use the headquarters or the HQ. They take you to the same place just one end of this mall and the other end but we're gonna go to the headquarters this is the same place that we did the uh, the boot camp mission chain where we oh, oh I think we wound up having to kill 10,000 zombies that was a chore we're fixing to do another chore what we're gonna do before we were going around to these guys that are in different spots around this area here. But for this one, we're doing the zombie invasion mission. Actually, it's a missing chain. Or more specifically, it's the National Guard tryouts. And this particular leg is called Push Back the Zombie Invasion. So we're going to run around the corner here. And we're going to speak to this guy. And he's already spoke to me once, and so he's not going to do it again. But... Uh, He's going to say, so you graduated from boot camp and you got the bright idea of s signing up for the National Guard duty. And you say, yes, sir. Well, you sure are about as dumb as they come. You think you're so tough, why don't you demonstrate to the guard how you handle yourself out in the field? And you reply, just give me a chance. And he says, eager to die, private? I like it. Bravo Company just sent out a distress call near the Biodome. Investigate the emergency and provide any fire support you can for the Bravo Company. Report back here to base when the mission is complete. Make sure to keep your radio on you at all times. That's an important thing. You're, you're not going to get to do the... Uh, mission chain if you don't complete that zombie mission chain prior to this because you got to have that little rascal right there You have to have the tactical radio. So, that means you two get to slog through probably close to 20,000 zombies before you can reach this guy here. 
But anyway, we get back to our conversation. After he says report back to base when the mission is complete, and be sure to keep your radio on you at all times, you say, sir, yes, sir. And then he says, what the hell are you waiting for? You say, sir, what about the robots? And he says, robots? Gosh darn, you shoot them if they get in your way, you, you blasted idiot. But don't think they count towards your current mission, Private. Just stay focused on the zombies. And then you ask him if there's any intel on these ro robots. And he says, hey, hey, maggot, you keep your mouth shut. The ro robot situation is considered to be a classified private issue. One more word about it, and I'll have you in prison. Now I get to work. You say, sir, yes, sir. And then he says, here's the location of the last communication from Bravo Company. Your call sign is Delta 7. Now get out of my sight. And so you go out there. When uh, you, you go out to the waypoint that he gives you, you talk to Sanchez, Sanchez, the sergeant of Bravo Company, and he's going to say, you're a little late, you bastard, my entire team is zombie kibble, you rookie punk. We got to fight our way out of here. You flank them to the north, and I'll provide covering fire f from the burnt out vehicle up on the ridge. Move out. You reply, yes, sir. Well, I did that. I listened to this guy's instructions. I let him put a waypoint on the map. I've got my radio on me. And I went out there. And it's like level nine and up zombies and I killed a few of them and after a while with the weapons I've got it took me about 10 shots per zombie and I figured man, this is going to take a long time so I was I was going to give up on it. There wasn't a TP up there. So I came back down here to use the TP. But I thought I'm going to uh, check something out. Where's the door? There it is over there. So I was all set to TP back to City of Dreams and see if there was some other mission I could do. And I thought, well, wait a minute, they got zombies down here. He wants me to kill zombies up there, but, you know. Like I said, each one of those is going to take a while. So I came back out here on the off chance that uh, maybe killing one of these things, while it's not one of them high dollar zombies up there, Maybe these things count too. So I killed one. And sure enough, 32, 33, 34. So we are back in the zombie hunt again. So, 
it looks like the only difference between this mission chain and the previous one is that this one looks like it starts at a thousand zombies whereas the other one it was only a couple of hundred I think to start out so we're gonna spend some time on this in the future and uh, we'll just see how it goes so that's all I wanted to share with you that should you uh, choose to complete that boot camp chain it's not over after your after your 10,000 you can visit that guy around the corner as long as you have have your radio on you and you don't have to change location it's going to save you some ammo to kill these little ones and all of these zombies down here it doesn't matter what the maturity is it just counts as one point towards your total so there's no sense in knocking yourself out killing the higher maturities because I knocked out like 20 of them the loot's not any better than what these guys get or at least in my sampling of 20 it wasn't any different so you know easier is better when they, they only count one at a time so I'm gonna leave you with that uh, in conclusion I'd like to encourage you or ask you to hit that like or subscribe button for me uh, I'm just a noob in all this YouTube stuff that's why I get excited for every like and every subscription you know that somebody gets so if you want to build up my ego hit them buttons for me and if not just come back and watch anyway you're always welcome but anyhow in conclusion try to have fun in all things in entropia try to ha have fun because it's only a game so this is Morgan Gecko saying we will see you next time bye